Switchcraft is brought to you live three times a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern and on Saturday at whatever time I can get to it. Tune in live over at twitch.tv slash runjumpstomp. This episode of Switchcraft is brought to you by patrons like you. Support Switchcraft and my other content over at patreon.com slash runjumpstomp. So for as little as a dollar, you can get an extra podcast. Uh, this episode if you want to support the show there's other ways that you can do that uh, you can head on over to runjumpstomp.com slash op seat and get a cool gaming chair like the one that i am sitting in right now you directly support the show and you get a gaming chair that can support you and uh, for ten dollars off your order again that url is runjumpstomp.com slash op seat now, today I am joined by a very good friend of mine. In fact, he is my co-host on another podcast called 78 Degrees, where we talk about whatever we feel like, uh, because not everything's about gaming. Uh, that is uh, Richard, a.k.a. That Chap Zap. How's it going, man? All good, buddy. This this feels odd. So we're going to talk to each other twice this week. That's a scary thought. It is. It's very scary. Uh, Richard just went to EGX, which is basically kind of like the E3 for uh, for Europe, would you say? Uh, it, it's more of a PAX. I think it's the best way oh, to describe okay. it PAX. Yeah. It's, I, the way it's going, it's, kind of, it's, it's blowing up in the UK. So EGX is the European Gaming Expo. Uh, but it's it's very like PAX like is probably the best way to describe it. Awesome. So he went to basically the PAX of Europe and uh, he had a whole bunch of notes. The first thing he said to me, I think it was yesterday, uh, he tweeted at me. He said Nintendo killed it. And yes, uh, I just I want to hear all about it. So what what was the first thing or when when uh, what was the first thing that you thought, OK, I got to tell Bill about this? Well, uh, Nintendo brought 40 plus games to the show, uh, which was more than any other um, company. Xbox had literally no showing. Uh, they had they had nothing. And uh, PlayStation, again, were not bringing anything kind of strong. Um, Nintendo, honestly, you can really say they're having like the best time of their life currently because they are rocking anything and everything that they've got and coming out like swinging. Um, they had uh, new games, old games, indie games. They had literally just the, f the show floor of everything. And the way EGX or at the NEC, which is in uh, Birmingham in England, uh, is it's over like two or three units. And Nintendo literally manned the middle of one of these units. I, I can't describe the size of it. It's just it's mental. Um, and they had um, a lot of the publications that we know of. Nintendo Life were there. Nintendo UK TV were there, just loads, and they really did rock just everything and anything they could. Awesome. So, uh, okay, we've got some first-party stuff coming from Nintendo. Did you get a chance to play uh, Mario Party? I did get a chance to play Mario Party, yes. Or I guess Super Mario Party. Tell, it, tell us about your experience with that game. So when I initially, pl when I initially saw it, because um, the queues for these games the third the, the first party games are always got longest queues oh yeah um so when i first saw the queues incredible like it, it looks amazing nintendo are doing something incredible with the switch that i don't think any other developer really knows kind of like how to handle the graphic fidelity and the stuff they're doing with like the mario looks and they're making things run so smooth it looks amazing like graphically and sounds incredible uh they know how to run their ips they know exactly what they're doing and when we eventually got around to playing it the mini games that we played which i'll explain about in a second were, were fun um but i do have my reservations I, I i described it initially like i said as amazing but as i came away and thought about it i am a little bit worried about certain things about this game and that's only come on the back of like mario eight uh mario tennis aces so the mini games that we got to play, we got to play four of, I think there's like... Uh, there's like, 80. Yeah, 80. We got to play four of 80 mini games. Uh, so the first one uh, that we played was a tricycle one. And I'm going to hold up one of my Joy-Cons for for uh, people that are watching. And you have to hold the Joy-Con like so. And you have to... <laughs> 
you have to do this. Right, so for um, those of you that are just listening, he's doing like a figure eight motion with the yeah. two sides of the joy of, of the joy con. And this is for a tricycle race. Mm -hmm. So you have like a, a 10 meter track and you have to do this, but it's not about speed. It's about control. Okay. It's about, it's about how, how good your, your, your wrist movement is. Um, as 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 controlling as that can be um so we also and i'm gonna i'm gonna describe it exactly as as they described it on stage because we, we were playing it so you had some like booths set up but we were actually sitting on the couch the casting couch they called it which was really weird um and the game we were playing next was called flip your meat <laughs> all right nintendo's which, always bad at this stuff like <laughs> it's it's, I mean, it, like the milk thing in uh, yeah, yeah, one yeah, two yeah, switch, yeah. like yeah, that, that wasn't pretty. <laughs> and you you basically have control of a saucepan. Again, I'm holding my Joy-Con up. A what? You, you have of, a control yeah, of a what? A saucepan, a frying pan. A saucepan. Okay, a I sauce understand. Pan. A saucepan. So you, <laughs> you've got your. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. It didn't look like me. It looked like a block of tofu. I'm All not right. joking. It looked really weird. You and know, I think I played a game like that in WarioWare for the Wii. I think okay. that there was like a mini game where you had to you had to flip yes. uh, like yes. a slice of bacon or something, or maybe a pancake. This was very similar, but it was it was a block, and the idea is to cook four sides the quickest. Oh, so okay. Sides. Yeah, so you you're you're flipping it around like this, trying to just control this this meat block in in like, the, and then it's basically whoever finishes first is going to get dinner, uh, is the best way to describe it. Um, and so you, you you we did that one, and the next one we played was the best way to describe it is dodge some NFL players. So there's a big, I think it was seven by seven grids, and some of the enemies of Mario have been dressed up as NFL players, and they run across and run down at you and they hit you and you've got three lives in that one and the idea is just literally to move out of the way and that gets chaotic like the longer you're in the, the more of these you know enemies come at you and it's just really really chaotic and the last one which they said no one at egx had actually completed was um it was like a top down you know like the runner games that you can you can get um uh like tomb raider the running endless running game yeah, yeah, the endless running. So okay. they basically do it as a like a top down version with these these things come swing these ghosts with boxing gloves come swinging at you, and you've just got to continuously running, and then you get blocks that stop you. Okay. So uh, yeah, um, I picked shy guy. I I won, which was quite nice. I won overall, and the the the, the Mario game was um, the basically the the winner. They raised the podium, and and you're the winner. So they have they have stated. Obviously, we know that the board game is is in there. There's online play. So you didn't get to play anything other than mini games. No, we played mini games. They they showed off a little bit of the board game, but not a lot. We saw you know a glimpse of it uh, when they were doing demoing Mario Party on on the big stage. So we didn't actually get a hands-on with that, but we had, like I say, a hands-on with the mini games. Mm -hmm. So from what I can see, um, it's going to be great for parties. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun in that sense. I'm a little bit on the reserve side because of, let me just refer to my notes that I wrote down today. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, it looks beautiful, great sound design. Um, I worry because the character list that we saw there was the confirmed character list and it's not a massive roster. Uh, whether that's something that would bother people or not, I don't know. As I said, I'm going on the back of what we had from Mario Aces and the way the way the, the like the online stuff in that game was kind of handled, where Mario Aces was a solid one-on-one -on -one game and some of the best one-on-one -on -one action you can get this year, but it felt a little bit like there was something else missing. Um and then from from that, I I think Nintendo hopefully the online play has that kind of big replayability. What I would like to see them do, um, and I did ask, and no one answered it. They just went, uh, maybe we'll see what happens. Is um, if they could turn around and add like a Jackbox mode where players could download like an app on their Switch, mm -hmm. but could only play if someone else has but they can't play at any of the game they can just join in the party games uh which would i think would would really add kind of a nice layer of getting people involved that kind of stuff 
whether I, I agree. Have... Well, I, you know, maybe like an audience. Like I yes. can see at having an audience in where they can, they could make bets on who's going to win and things like that. I think that would be cool. But you want to have a device that has all of the things that a Joy-Con does. And while mm. our phones do have accelerometers, they don't have physical buttons. So if you're if you are the person playing on your phone, you're kind of screwed if there's a physical button game. They don't have the IR sensor, so you can't join in for any game that uses uh, the IR sensor, which I'm sure that, that Mario Party is the perfect thing uh, to make sure that it shows off all of the things that the Joy-Cons can do. And it doesn't have HD rumble. So that's mm. yet another thing that you know probably wouldn't, I don't see them doing that, but I I do think that's a great idea uh, for something like an audience where they could like make bets on who's going to win, yeah. and that way you can have more people participating in a room. Although it is up to eight players already, so that's pretty impressive. Yeah, um, I so said I just I just kind of I'm I'm hoping that it's not going to be a game that launches. I I don't know the because we didn't get to see the online. I am just a little bit kind of like well. And I try to ask questions, but they weren't have. We know what Nintendo are like. They oh, will yeah. tell us information when they want to tell us the information, mm -hmm. uh, which I respect. You know, I respect the fact they weren't going to talk to me about it. I weren't going to keep pushing. I was like, fine, cool, no worries. Um, but I just wanted a little bit kind of like how much kind of replayability. You know, players want rewards. I'm I I'm not saying that I'm one of these players, but we know how fickle computer game players are. You know, there'll be one minute this is the greatest online game, and the next minute they'll turn around and say it's 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 the worst thing ever. Mm -hmm. You know that it's a we're a fickle breed, us gamers. Right. Uh, so, I I want to see this come out, and I think family couch co op amazing. You know, get the family around, get your friends around, a few drinks. It's going to be hilarious. But at the same time, I do worry or wonder, like how and what they're going to do online wise unless they're just going to leave it as a, a party game and, and well it's it. just mini games for the online like they've already yeah. told us that it's just mini games there's no board okay. game to it um which that's fine because if have you ever played a mario party game before i have dabbled around a friends but it was more just the mini game side of things nothing right. nothing too kind of extravagant well, the, the the Mario Party games are notoriously long, like kind of like Monopoly, uh, and <laughs> playing a game like that online, like yeah. I, I I foresee quite a few people just you know dropping out because you know they had to go do something, you know that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. Would that I think that that would cause issues. So I understand why Nintendo is going with just the mini games. Although personally, if it were up to me, I would say include the full thing and let me decide let me be yeah. the person that decides on whether or not i'm going to play against people uh online as a full board game or just the mini games um but mario party's always been a game that's been about you know sitting on the couch next to somebody and uh you know that moment when you get the star for passing the most purple spots or whatever it is because it's kind of randomized at the end uh and then lording it over the person who you beat at the very end. Um, so I think while I'm happy that they're including an online version, I don't think it's very important to this kind of game. Um, I, that I, being I think, yeah. said, here's my question to you. Go on. You've played Jackbox. Um, if you had to choose between playing this and playing Jackbox with people in your house, which would you pick? Are the people in my house the age of my children? Um, <laughs> well, okay, you can have two answers. Um, I think, actually, no. To be fair, from the games that we played, and this is the honest truth, I would definitely pick Mario Party to play in my house and online. Uh, just because there's a much the, the, the variety of mini games that they explained seems mm -hmm. to be you know a lot there uh, Jackbox is great for a few cracks it's great for a few laughs but I think once you've been around the few games there are in Jackbox you've kind of you've kind of done it all um, the nice thing about Jackbox as I said it includes that kind of mode that anybody can play on any device um, 
So I I think it will be a success. I just have a I think it'll be more of a success for the couch and that kind of stuff. Um, but no, I I, I definitely think it's going to be a good game. I I do, I do, but I just reservations of how the online is going to work, and that was more the fact they just wouldn't tell me too much. Yeah, somebody somebody asked me. Uh, they sent me a, a DM on Twitter and they asked me, uh, are you picking up Mario Party? And I, I didn't have an answer for them because while Mario Party is always fun, um, I feel like my family enjoys uh, games like Jackbox and Use Your Words much more than yeah. I, we laugh our, our, our asses off playing those games. And Mario Party is enjoyable but there is not a ridiculous amount of hilarity that happens that compares to Jackbox. Yeah, so yeah. even though Mario Party is is something that I think most people will want to have in their library for when people come over, I I personally prefer myself. I prefer with with my family. Like I'm excited for Thanksgiving because. My family's going to be over. I'm going to load up Jackbox on the TV and we're going to spend a few hours laughing a lot at the horrible things that everybody is saying on the screen. Yeah. I, I think if my children, were, uh, I think if my son was a bit older, I think that would, my answer would be completely different. Uh, if it was just us four at home uh, and the current age of my son, um, I think I'd definitely have to go with uh, the Mario Party. But if he was uh -huh. two or three years older, then Jackbox, where he was... Uh, and I'm not saying that he can't read or write because he can read or write and he, he does read very well and he writes very well for his age. But at the same time, it's like only two of you are going to be, me and my wife will be doing the the, the answers that right. make each other laugh. Like, And my daughter's sitting there who's 11 going, what are you two laughing at? That doesn't right. make any sense. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes, like, sometimes we, like we, we got to look at grandpa and be like, there's kids in the room, grandpa. You can't say <laughs> things like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, so I I think if if I would I would wait, I would hesitantly wait for like Mario Party to come out and get for people to see what it's like, mm -hmm. and then if you want to buy it, buy it. That's that's how I reviewed that game from EGX. What we did see, and I must before before we move on, is the um the ah uh, the the two switches working together. Oh, yeah, that that looks so cool. And that's that's really cool. They they just they showed it off, and it was like. Wow, but I'm like I'm gonna have to buy a second Switch. Stop it, Nintendo. Ah, uh, you should buy a, a second one anyway for the kids to share, so that they don't get their grubby little hands on yours. Anyway, yeah, let's move on. Let's let's talk about did did you get to play? Everybody is gonna be asking about this. Did you get to play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? It wasn't. It wasn't there. Liar! You are a liar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. I I yeah, it's beautiful. That game is gonna be incredible. Um, that that had an hour and a half wait to get on that, uh -huh. uh, and it was one of the longest queues of the um, the show on the Sunday. Uh, and we, how long did you get to play for? I got to play. We got to do four rounds. Oh, okay, so that's got, not too we, bad. Yeah, we got a decent time because we turned up towards the end. So I I've learned from going to these things before. If you want to hit the big games, you hit them right at the end because they they kind of give up care and how long you're on the stand for, mm -hmm. and you just so I'd already already plotted my big games out. I was going to look at like Assassin's Creed Odyssey and stuff like this, but the biggest queue all day was Super Smash Bros. Um, and they and they they and it showed why. So we got to play, and I'm I'm guys, I'm gonna full details of what I saw. So if you don't don't want to hear what I'm about to say, I'm sorry. Um. Well, hold on, hold on. Before you go any further, I'm, I want to know your history with the game. Ha, what, which Smash Brothers games have you played previously? I've dabbled in the 3DS one, and I've played a little bit of Melee. So okay. I played. I, I understand Smash a All little right. bit, but this is going to be my first foray into a Smash title properly. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to before I buy, I'm going to brush up on my on my Smash as well. So I got to play as I went. I went straight for Snake. <laughs> Straight for snake. big surprise there if you guys don't yeah. know uh richard is a huge uh metal gear solid fan yeah uh we went on the breath of the wild stage 
mm-hmm. uh, which is um, on top of the one of the high high rule towers, which looks amazing, and the stage collapses. Not the top tower, but like around you, it all collapses. Mm-hmm. Someone was Breath of the Wild Link, uh, which looked and, and sounded amazing. And even though I've dabbled in previous, sm- I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I was I was hitting bar- buttons as hard and fast as I could, and praying I was hitting something. Um, what controller did they have for you guys to play on? Were you playing um, on GameCube controllers or Switch controllers? So we ended up with Pro controllers, but they had GameCube controllers there on um, on other stands, which was I kind of wanted to play the GameCube controller because I wanted to see what all the hype was about. Because um, as I said, I, I've played a bit of Smash, but I've never got into the details of like where people are saying, look, the GameCube controller is the best controller for this well i think um, partially partially the reason for that and i have one behind me on the shelf but i'm not going to grab it right now but the 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 sticks like if you look at a uh, a switch pro controller or pretty much any controller the part around the stick is round yes and the uh part around the stick on a on a gamecube controller has little notches for up down left and right and then the four corners so it's uh, basically it's it's octagonal instead of round yeah, yeah, yeah. and so yeah. it's it makes it easier for you to hit exactly down and then a button or exactly left and then a button and that makes things a little bit easier uh to get uh to be a little bit more accurate i think personally i'm 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 a filthy casual so i don't care so I'm fine playing on a pro controller for Smash because I, I don't want to have a wire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You know, we 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 all had like the the all the controllers were wired for obvious reasons. I mm-hmm. mean, there were it, you weren't getting away with any of that. So, but it, you know, it was. I was talking. There was a there was a lad next to me. He was he played a lot of Smash, and he was sort of talking me through some bits and pieces. And he was saying, um, and I sort of asked him. I said. Is this? Do you think this is going to be the best smash that you've ever played? And he just looked at me and went, "Without a doubt, without a doubt, the best smash he's ever played." Uh, he said, "Obviously, graphic uh, again, graphics because of the Switch's power compared to the previous consoles that Smash has been on is just it's just a, a lovely looking game. The animations. I mean, when I I didn't just play as Snake, by the way, I played as Mewtwo, which was funny because he was just floating around, bouncing around like a, a, a and then some spitting some purple balls and everything." Um, and then we had, um, I had a round as Ridley. Ridley is overpowered as anything. Apparently that, that, that thing is a monster for someone mm-hmm. who hasn't played smash. I won a round with Ridley. So that must be overpowered. Um, and I dropped in as the Pokemon trainer and, and was throwing Pokemon left, right and center, uh, which was cool. It, it's a great game. Honestly, if you're a smash fan, you're going to love it. There's, there's nothing more to it. It's Nintendo had this and it was it was all in glory you could see that they were advertising smash it was like smash is here and if you like i said you're a smash fan you're gonna buy it you're gonna love it if you're not and you got a switch then you've got to give it a try because it is it's it's a great game so all right I, we talked about the two games that i wanted to hear most about what else do you want to what, what else did you see that you were like well, i gotta i gotta talk about this um so i played diablo 3 on the switch hmm. i don't know, I forget about that um, <laughs> I played Diablo three and it was handheld and it was 60 FPS and it was damn beautiful. 60 FPS. Like, I'm pretty sure that was running at 60. Wow. Um, because that was smooth. That was buttery smooth. That was, that's awesome. Um, so, and that was in handheld mode and there was a lot of things churning on the screen. Um, and they had, uh, the, um, uh, Ganondorf, uh, character or oh, the skin. Elders. Yeah, and you were playing as it um, looked amazing. The only thing I will say in handheld mode, if you're used to Diablo on the big screen, that's going to get quite, it gets chaotic on the small screen. And oh, it's yeah. It's quite difficult to see where you're looking, but they've got that game running smooth and like real smooth. Um, so that was Diablo 3 Pokemon. I am, I, I, oh, they, oh. I'm frustrated with Pokemon Let's Go because it it looks great, looks beautiful. Love the fact they're going back to that region. But the fact that um, the battle system, and I thought it was just 
I I was kind of hoping I I knew I'd read about that they were taking the battle system out against like random Pokemon. I was just hoping they may have just put it back in, but they haven't. It's it's like Pokemon Go where you just throw a Pokeball at the Pokemon. There's no battling that. There's trainers to battle and stuff like that. Um, it it looks all right. I'm kind of concerned about how much that's going to be if it's going to be a full fully fledged game, kind of price wise. Um, I I don't know. I'm I'm a little bit more on the fence now that I've seen it. It looks fine. It looks good, but I kind of want battles. I understand why Nintendo have done it because they want. And this is what we asked the the, the guy, uh, the, one of the guys on the the, the Pokemon stand. He basically mm-hmm. said they wanted to streamline the experience. From what they've been told to to tell people is that they want to streamline the experience. But for me, as someone who played Pokemon a lot on the older, you know, the older generational ones, I like that grind. I like being able to to level up my stuff. Mm-hmm. So. And again, we didn't get much of a demo. They weren't showing a lot off uh, of Pokemon Lego. Yeah, I don't know that the stream that that the experience of Pokemon really needs to be streamlined. I mean, this is a game that was played by ten year olds back in the uh, early nineties, and they were able to figure it out just yeah. fine back then. I don't yep. see why they need to change it now. I, I'm disappointed that they took out that especially because they clearly have a battle system in the game because you use it against trainers i think that's a huge letdown and i'm really not interested in let's go myself Uh, i'll wait until next year for the real one i was i was gonna grab it um and i I saw it was there and i was like i'll have a look and the more i looked at it the more i went yeah this this doesn't appeal to me it just they just didn't really appeal to me at all did your kids go with you no, I went on my. I went with, oh, with okay. friends. I, I, went with friends. I, I was be very curious how, like, because it might be like Pokemon Let's Go for kids. Like, they might be. This is great. Yeah, you know? there was a lot uh, around the if, from from gauging like the audiences. There's definitely a lot of children around mm-hmm. the Pokemon. You know, and they were loving it. But as I agree with you, I I played Pokemon when I was younger, and I figured out everything. You know, leave the system in. It it looks fantastic, and if it's kind of like a a filler for the the big one that next year then it's 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 it does that job okay mm-hmm. but i'm disappointed they've they've changed that up there the other one that i want to talk about is starlink because we did get hands on with that as well did you use uh, the uh the plastic crap or yeah did... yeah okay. i used the plastic crap that's weird uh they they had the i haven't got my 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 plastic adapter for the joy cons it's in the drawer somewhere but i'm not kidding i'll use the pro controller as an example this is you had you held the, the controller like this, right? And you had this massive like plastic crap in the middle of your controller. Uh-huh. And it's like right. And you kind of just look at it and go, I look really stupid right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did did you um, ask if you can play without that stuff? Because I think you can. Um, there was one guy there, and he had literally taken all the stuff off, and then yes, he was playing without it. Oh, okay. But, like, well then I'm fine with it. The upgrades and stuff um you need to to upgrade your ship and put parts on you then need to put everything back on and then like change bits like that yeah you can't you can play like the combat and all that kind of stuff without it but to do stuff with your ship and all that you need then put the stuff back on did you ask about that or is that just the way it was when you were setting up it was just the way i it was when we were setting up so uh, whether it's different when you get it i don't know i by that time, we were, we were kind of running out of time for me to ask many questions. Because I would assume that that's not how it would be when you play in handheld mode. No, you know? guess it, because it's obviously going to be handheld mode compatible. Um, at the Although end of the day, it, Super Mario Party is not. Is it not? I didn't no, know it's not, but that's fine. I mean, it's the kind of game where you want to have it up on the, on the TV anyway. Yeah, 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 of course. So uh, we didn't ask that. I didn't ask that question, um, but he did say, like you say, you can use it without it. I mean... I, you, it looks stupid on the controller. <laughs> it really does. It looks so daft. Um, and Kodiak has asked any, if it's any good. It played fine. There was nothing wrong with it. Well, did if you do Star, thing, Star Fox stuff with it? No. No. Okay. No. It was uh, no. We did. I. I it was kind of like a running demo that they had all set up. I, I'm surprised that they weren't showing off the Star Fox stuff. Yeah, the that probably would have brought in a lot more people. Um. Yeah. It was. It was quite a quiet stand. To be fair. Um. Just a quick fly by the other games. Dark Souls was running fine. If that's your thing, if you want to get Dark Souls, oh, we've had the the network test this this weekend. Which, uh, by the running... way, I wasn't able to use at all. 
Like I kept uh, trying and it kept saying, nope, servers are down. I was like, all right, I guess not. Um, but they had a running, they had a running cartridge there. That was fine. Uh, Wargroove, which is coming to the Switch. Oh, that game looks fun. That game is fun. Ugh. And I had a great chat with Chucklefish about it. Like real good chat. Uh, and they are so proud of that game. That it's it looks it it looks and it plays amazingly. It really have, have you ever played Advance Wars? Yes, yes, and I loved it. Loved oh, okay, minute. good, good, good. Um, and that is you. You asked. I asked for their inspiration. They said Advance Wars is where it was at. This was one of our inspirations. We 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 took it and we went with it. So that's awesome. Yeah, Wargroove is going to be a great game on the uh, the Switch. There was there's a few other indie titles coming, but nothing like to really kind of go mad at um i spoke to a couple of indie developers and they said and this is this is kind of praise to nintendo that they're great with with indie developers they they really love it they they've proved that this year with the amount of titles that there was there you know and they and even though they had them on like a working xbox or a playstation they said they're working on a switch version um they say nintendo is the easiest out of three companies to work for which is a, a, a huge turnaround from last gen because, or or ever before, because Nintendo's always been notoriously really tough to work with, especially for indie developers. Mm. Uh, so that's really good to hear. Uh, any other final insights to EGX before we wrap up, man? Uh, what Nintendo or non Nintendo? Uh, you know like what? It. I mean, people can people play a lot of different stuff, so you can talk about uh, non Nintendo stuff for a um, short time because we're coming up on my cutoff point. I'll give you um, my so my game of the show was Smash. Okay. My second game, and there was two other games that I got to look at. I think I I got hands on with one of them, but not the other. Uh, I took a picture. I don't know if I put the picture in your in your Discord actually, uh, but I rajumpstomp dot com slash Discord. There you go. Uh, it was uh, the Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts Three was there on show. Game looks stunning. It really does. It plays beautiful. The sound. It's it's amazing. And if now you've Hearts, played the other Kingdom Hearts games. Yeah, yeah, I have. Okay. Confusing as confusing as anything. I ain't got a clue what's going on. But it's 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 gonna be a great game when that drops um, in January next year. And the other one was Metro Exodus which is the next one in the Metro uh, series, which is a first-person shooter kind of... Shooting zombies style. and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, that that was beautiful. That game plays and runs amazingly. And what were you playing it on, Xbox or PS4? We were playing it on Xbox, and okay. it was running lovely. It's coming for all, all platforms uh, at Metro Exodus. It really well, it's not was. coming to Switch, is it? No, no, not not Switch, not Switch. Sorry, but it's coming to the 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 other the other three PC, Xbox, and PlayStation Four. But gotcha. I'd say it's probably one of the best show, best EGX I've been to, and it's my fifth so far. So yeah, best EGX so far. I'm very jealous. I never get to go to anything because we don't have that kind of thing where I live. Because I live in the middle of nowhere. Um, like while we've been recording, I keep hearing some kid riding by on his four wheeler, zipping <laughs> back and forth nonstop. Uh, so like, that's where I live. I don't get to, I don't get to go to the cool stuff, but thank you so much for coming on the show, man. And talking about your EGX experience, uh, other than 78 degrees, which is the show that we do together. Uh, we record that on Wednesdays at 3 PM us Eastern and 8 PM your time. Where else can people find, uh, you and your stuff? So they can find me on Twitch a lot of the time, uh, streaming, but I do a podcast called desert Island games or dig for short. And I have a couple of special guests that I'd just like to quickly put. Run Jump was my first guest and um, was an amazing show. And we have coming up, we have Aurora Peachy and we just had Joe after work. Uh, oh, awesome. So yeah, go go over there. And so that's desertislandgames.fireside.fm and go have a listen. And yeah, that's where you can find me. Absolutely. And uh, thank you for coming on. And I will see you next time, sir. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.